it. But there's no escape. <laughs> Do we ever get the formula right for festivals? That's a that's a tricky one. I, weirdly, we do sometimes, and I think obviously you don't get every single thing right. There are so many different different things that could maybe not go 100% right. So lot, last year we were really chuffed with how festival and camp festival had gone. Um, probably not complete perfection, but um, you know I don't think that's achievable with a festival. There's just too many things that can and will go wrong. So. Um, but I think, you know, we, we, we've delivered really good shows, but there are always things that we come out of it and we're always hard on ourselves on the negatives. We never sort of sit there and bask in glory of a, a well-run a well -run festival. We're always kind of worrying about what we got wrong. Yeah, the idea for the AIF, which is the Association of Independent Festivals, uh, which unbelievably is five years old this year, um, came about um, when we, had, we actually had some tent theft at festival and uh, I didn't really know who to talk to about that because I didn't really know any other promoters. We'd only just set up festival, um, so I thought there must there should be a sort of talking shop where we can talk to other promoters and get together and have a, have a chat. So um, it's really, yeah, it really came out of that just being somewhere where everyone could kind of communicate and talk about the problems they were having. And um, yeah, it's grown from probably like five or six members five years ago to about 40 now. So it's it's doing really well and. You know, we've got lots of friends of AIF businesses that work in the festival industry as well. So it's um, yeah, it's a good little happy family, and it's most important. It's independent. You know, everyone's there for the the right reasons. You know, some of these festivals have only got thousand people, two thousand people at their shows, so they're quite small shows. But they are facing the same problems, and they've also got new solutions for some of the problems that we've been looking at for years. So we're all facing the same issues essentially. You know, rising costs, sharing talent. Um, you know, how to be green in the 21st century, you know, how to make your festival safer, all these things. So it doesn't matter whether it's 50,000 people at festival or 2,000 people at a small new festival, it's, it's the same, same problems. Yeah, the theme for festival is always kind of hotly contested. We get ideas just within the team, we get ideas from our message boards, we ask people on Twitter and Facebook what they'd like. The theme to be and then nearly always it's me and Josie <laughs> sort of having a glass of wine and sort of just basically having a banter about what it could be and yeah, that's how HMS Festival came about. We've been thinking about doing a nautical, nautically sort of themed um, festival and then finally yeah this year is time to kind of put that one into action so we're, we're always sort of thinking about what it could be next year and you know but yeah it's, it's, um, it's a difficult one you know some people love it, some people sort of like, oh, you know, I wish it was such and such. So you just get, I think the, the key is to kind of keep it simple though. Um, I think we're really happy with both shows, the size they are at the moment. We're not intending on um, growing each particularly. <clears throat> I think what we are looking at doing is maybe taking the shows overseas. So I think it's not about um, growing the shows in the UK necessarily, but yeah, taking them abroad. So. Had a lot of a lot of interest on both shows um, in a lot of different territories. Hopefully, you'll be seeing some new camp festivals and festivals around the world in the next few years. Team festival really don't dwell on awards. We, um, you know, we, we yeah, we're really happy on the night, but it goes on the mantelpiece, and then we sort of um, crack on. We, we it, the bad thing about getting awards, and we have had a lot of awards for festival and, and camp, is that there's only one way. <laughs> From that and that's downwards because you know you've won that that year but then you've got a better it next year and it's it, yeah so I, I don't really I love I love winning them in a way but also it's a bit of a albatross because then it's like we've won it eight years out of ten so if we don't if we now don't start winning it you know for another eight years it's like <clears throat> it just looks like old news well yeah as a, as a festival organizer the most memorable moment was probably um, uh, jumping over the fence at my first Glastonbury with Josie. It's all right, Michael Evers knows about this. He, know, he knows that I did it and uh, I've apologised. Um, but yeah, it was just, I, was, you know, I was just cast into this other world and just couldn't believe my eyes and ears and you know, totally overpowered with the senses. You know, that's, that's definitely my first sort of greatest memory of a festival going. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think um, 
you'd be, be foolish to think that everything's rosy in festival land, but then, you know, if you've been doing it for the last 10 years, 20 years, however long, you, you know, it has its sort of peaks and troughs, it sort of goes up and down. It's, um, <clears throat> I think um, the economy is still not in, a great sh not in great shape. Young people have got less money. Um, the weather wasn't fantastic for a lot of festivals last year, selfishly and luckily for us it, it was great. But um, So you know, that, that puts people off and we, we're doing really well, we're kind of bucking the trend, camp and festival will sell out again, you know, we're, we're going to be alright. But um, yeah, there are, sadly, you know, there are always casualties every year, some of them may be kind of overreaching themselves and not having the budget or the financial sort of nows to back that up, some just because they just couldn't sell the tickets. So. Um, and it's no, you know, it's no one's fault really, it's just one of those things that happens. It's like any business, you know, like the high street, you see things kind of opening and closing. So I think it's sad and that's why AIF is there, to kind of help those, those festivals potentially. You know, anyone that's kind of getting into difficulty and can see that coming, we try and urge them to come to us and, you know, in the past other members have helped each other out. Who haven't we booked for festival yet? I mean, there's a, a long list of people, you know, some of them that come up every year, like Prince, Dolly Parton, Kate Bush. You know, I always say those three, there's a few more that are in my head that I don't really want to talk about in case someone else goes, yeah, that's a really good idea. So, but I've said those three so many times now that everyone knows that I want to get them to best of all. Um, it, it will happen one year, I think, but, um, well, I don't think Kate Bush will happen, but um, Prince and Dolly, maybe. I think Kate Bush has um, hung up a, a microphone, possibly, so. But yeah, Kate, if you're watching, come to best of all.